This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how we can create a financial chatbot with a Zephyr 7B Alpha large language model. Okay, so I had made a video on Zephyr 7B Alpha. So this is the best performing 7 billion parameter large language model. Now, it is a fine-tuned version of the Mistral 7 billion uh, large language model which was trained on a mix of publicly available synthetic data sets and something called as direct preference optimization. Okay. Instead of uh, reinforcement learning with human feed. Okay. So uh, to run this in a collab notebook, okay. Uh, running this model as such in the collab notebook, I found out that, uh, you know, it runs out of memory. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make use of the quantized version of this Zephyr 7B Alpha. So the bloke has actually released uh, the quantized versions of, you know, Zephyr 7B Alpha large language model. Okay. So here uh, you can make use of this quantized models because they make use of less memory and they are optimized to run on both CPU and GPU. Okay. So let's go to our collab notebook. So what I want to do is that I want to upload this PDF document which talks about the financial results of Tata Consultancy Services for the year ended March 31st, 2023. Okay. So this is how the PDF file looks like. It has text, it has tables, okay, where there is financial information which is present. Okay. So I want to see if I can, uh, you know, chat with this PDF file, right? I can create a chatbot. So what I'm doing over here is retrieval augmented generation. So I'll be making use of Llama index library over here. Let's go to our collab notebook. Okay. So what I need to do is that I need to install PyPDF for PDF. Okay. Um, then uh, for processing PDF basically, then I install transformers. Uh, I need to install, uh, you know, uh, Llama CPP Python, which is a Python library for running uh, GGUF models, okay, or the quantized models, okay. So I am installing that over here, Llama CPP Python, okay. Then I install Llama index, okay, right. A Llama index is a framework which supports retrieval augmented uh, generation chatbots, okay, at a very high level, okay. So then what I do is that I need to import vector store index, simple directory reader and service context from Llama index. Okay. I've uploaded my, this particular PDF file under a folder called data under content over here. Okay. So you also need to do this because when I shut down this instance, uh, you know, this file is gone. So whichever file you want to make use of upload that file over here. Okay. Right. So what I do is that I create a simple directory reader, which will uh, read that document and it will load it. Okay. That is what is happening over here. Okay. Because I am making use of, uh, you know, Llama CPP index for running this quantized model. Okay. The bloke uh, quantized models. Okay. So what I have to do is that I have to instantiate my LLM like this, right? From Llama index, I'll be importing Llama CPP and also the messages to prompt and completion to prompt the default things. And this is how I instantiate my large language model. Okay. The thing you need to take care of here is that in the model URL. Okay. So what I'm doing over here is that if you look at this model URL, I am actually uh, using the Phi, uh, you know, Phi bit quantization. Okay. Uh, that particular model over here. So the list of models, uh, quantized models are available over here. And if you go to the list, okay, this is the bits, quantization bit. So what I did was I picked out this particular 5-bit quantization model. Okay, a uh, very low quality loss. And this is the recommended model. So I'm picking up this particular model. Okay, and once I click on this, this particular page opens up. And from there, I have to click, I have to copy the download URL. Okay. And that URL, I have to put it over here as model URL. Okay. So that is the URL, which I have to put over here as model URL. Okay. And then uh, with the other parameters, I put it over here and I am, uh, this is a GPU instance. I want to make use of both CPU and GPU. That's why this NGPU layers is minus. 
okay so in this way i have now created my i have instantiated my llm okay which is the zephyr 7b alpha 5 bit quantized medium sized model okay so that is what i have done over here right so once i do that i can actually check my resources over here uh, so see it makes use of close to 8 point gb of my gpu ram okay right uh, so that is what i've done over here right so once i do that i need to install sentence transformers why i need to install sentence transformers i'll be making use of some embeddings okay so i make use of this particular embedding called uh, you know uh, then uh, nlper gte large so i make use of this particular embedding it has good performance on the hugging face embeddings leaderboard so i choose that over here okay and here is where i instantiate my embeddings okay so i need to import hugging face embeddings from langchain embeddings from llama index i have to import langchain embedding and service context and i create my embedding model over here so now the embedding model is also downloaded okay the next thing is what i need to do over here is i need to specify the service context where i specified that the llm used for retrieval augmented generation is zephyr 7b alpha which i have instantiated and the embedding model is the embedding model which i have instantiated in this previous code okay the gte large okay so now that is done right now what i need to do is that i have to create a vector store uh, from index by passing the documents now what it will do is that it will read the pdf file it will convert to text that's what the documentary reader does and that text to embeddings is converted it is uh, embeddings are created and they are indexed into a vector store the default vector store of large uh, your llama index okay that is what is happening over here okay so that step is done over here right and then you can create a query engine index has query engine okay and you can pass your query okay so the query i ask over here is what is the recommended final dividend so what happens internally is that this set of text is converted into embeddings using the same embeddings okay then from the vector store okay uh, the closest uh, text based on this particular query is retrieved you retrieve the text from your vector store okay and then that is passed along with this prompt to the large language model which is the zephyr 7b alpha over here to generate your response so this is your retrieval augmented generation pipeline okay in llama index right so once you do that uh, you get this response saying that the recommended final dividend is 24 rupees per equity share of rupees 1 of each of the company now if you go back to the file you can see that in the first page you know you have this this thing uh the directors have recommended a final dividend of 24 equity share of one each of the company okay so this is what i wanted to pull out right so that is the this thing which you get response from the retrieval augmented financial chatbot over here okay now i can put it into a loop and i can ask lot of questions so i asked like what is the total equities and liabilities for the year ending 2023 so here it says total equity and liabilities for year ending 2023 is one uh, you know 141514 as per the given context of information okay now if you go over here and see it is in this table okay so basically i wanted to query this particular value okay this particular value but it's actually returned this value okay now this value if you look at over here let's zoom in a little bit if you look at this value over here it is for march 31st 2022 so the answer is wrong right so what i did is i wanted i went a little bit specific and i said what is the total equities as on march 31st 2023 here it says total uh, equities and liabilities as on march 31st are 143651 okay this is in terms of crores or whatever right so it is actually pulled this value over here okay so it has actually answered properly over here for this question right so now you can ask further questions also over here so probably i'll ask like uh, you know what is the i'll ask what is the total current liabilities for year ending current
Pass on. Let's see the response. It's actually generating response. It is 43, 558 as per page 9 of the financial result dividend PDF. Wow, it even pulled that source. See, 43558 as per page 9. So this is quite nice, right? Uh, so you are able to actually create a financial chatbot over here with a particular PDF file, financial results file, right? Where you have tabular data as well present over here. But extensive testing needs to be done to see how accurate it is and what kind of results are coming. Okay. This is just a sample of how you can use the Zephyr 7B Alpha uh, large language model. Okay. In a collab notebook with free GPU, right? Free GPU instance to develop a retrieval augmented chatbot. So I'll be sharing this particular collab notebook along with, uh, you know, the links to the quantized model. Right. And even maybe a link to this financial result as well, because if you want to try it out, you can download this PDF file. Uh, when you start this instance, you can upload it and you can test this code. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.